Hello and welcome to Chemistry in Your Cupboard. My name is Stephen and I am an Education Coordinator for the Royal Society of Chemistry. Today we are going to make and test some liquid armour and you can have a go at this yourself with your responsible adult. For this experiment we need corn flour, water, two small measuring cups, make sure they're the same size, a mixing bowl, some food colouring, two sandwich bags and an egg. First, I'll add some water to our mixing bowl. And then I'll add some of the corn flour and I'll add this bit by bit. Gently stir the mixture until it has a sort of gooey consistency. I'm using my hands but you can use a spoon if you prefer. So I think I need to add a little bit more of the corn flour. I want it to be a strange paste. More of the corn flour. A bit more water. So this is the type of paste that we're looking for. So it's nice and gooey, but when you hold it tight, you can find it becoming harder. At this stage, you can add food colouring to your mixture. I'm adding some green food colouring to mine. And then we'll just mix this in with our mixture. The pea should become really difficult to stir and you should feel it starting to harden up. my mixture, it's time to start the investigation. So what happens when I tap the mixture with my finger? Does the liquid stay runny when I pour it and it hits the bowl? And I wonder if I can make a bowl with my mixture. Can you think of any other liquids with odd properties? Why is it normal to make a mess when you knock over your drink? Water is of low viscosity, which means it's a fast-flowing, runny liquid. Honey is highly viscous, so it's very thick and flows slowly. These fluids behave as you would expect and are called Newtonian fluids. When you mix water and cornstarch, you make a non-Newtonian fluid. It flows like a thick liquid such as honey, but it feels like a solid when you apply force. When movement is slow, the cornstarch molecules slowly move around each other and act like a liquid. When movement is too fast, like when you tap it, the molecules collide and behave like a solid. Imagine you're on a busy street surrounded by a crowd of people. If you try to run through the crowd of people, you'll bump into them and you'll be stopped. The solution? Move slowly. Cornstarch molecules are big and they act like a crowd of people. Do you think the mixture will be strong enough to protect an egg? Now we're going to put this to the test by running our own wee experiment. So I'm going to open one of the sandwich bags and then I'm going to pour our mixture into the bag. Next, I will place an egg in our other sandwich bag and I'll make sure that the bag is closed tightly. I will then place this bag into our bag with the mixture in it. 
and then I will seal it up. Now I will roll the egg and the sludge, making sure that there's enough of the sludge to go down the egg. Now I'm ready to drop the egg. Look at the egg. Has it survived intact? Is it cracked? Or is it completely broken? Now it's over to you. I have three different recipes that I want you to try out. And I want you to tell me which recipe gives you the best consistency for your mixture and which recipe do you think will give the best protection for an egg. Please share your results with us using the hashtag chemistry in your cupboard. Now it's very important that when you dispose of your mixture you do not pour it straight down the drain. Instead, add lots and lots of water to it to dilute it down and then pour it down the drain or place it in a bag and take the bag straight into the bin. We will be back for more experiments shortly but in the meantime please subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep up to date with all the chemistry in your cupboard experiments. See you soon.